If you guys don't know about Big AGI, it's one of my favorite user interfaces for like just chatting with different LLMs all in the same interface. So I currently have GPT-3, but we could have LM Studio, Perplexity, Azure, Anthropic, Gemini, Grok, Together AI, Open Router, etc. So you can go call. Ready for science talk. What language model version are you on? I am based on GPT-3. And they just released a new update with Beam. Find better answers with multi-model AI reasoning. So I think they combine different models into one. Um, Beam is a new chat mode within Big AGI that allows you to find better answers quicker. So yeah, here, like this is the interface. I'm pretty sure this is just as I thought. It's You can f combine replies. So here they have four different models, GPT-4, Claude 3 Opus, Gemini 1 and Mistral Large. They've asked it, make a cool looking capybara shape animation using CSS. And they've got three different answers. And now you can merge these answers to create the best of both worlds or something, I assume. The secret fusion. This is the LLM to analyze the responses and identify the key components and combine them. So this one, you just leave it all to the LLM to combine them, but they, then they also have a guided merge where you can pick from all the features each one said. It seems like such a great project that um, anyone could contribute to and we just have this one hub for open source um, like interaction with LLMs with all the features and every model. I think that's great, a great thing to have. All right, let's try Beam. So apparently they can render HTML, CSS. So that's sick. I want to try something just like this, asking it for a custom CSS. Make a starry night using CSS in a HTML file. All right, Beam. All right, so we have GPT-4. Can we do Cloud 3 HiQ? Because that's cheap. This is sick. There's so many models we can choose from. I think this account has them all linked up, though. Mistral 7B. So GPT-4 Turbo is the best. Oh, we'll do we'll do another best one. Cloud Opus. And then I think we say start. And now we have four beams. So four different models generating for the same prompt in the same interface. This is so cool. And once they're all done, Haiku's pretty fast. Surprise Mistral's so slow. It's probably that whoever's hosting it. Oh, I guess it's also producing longer bits of text. Still going with GPT-4 and Opus. These are the bigger models, so you kind of expect them to go overkill. All right, now that they're done, we can either combine them with Fuse, which uses an LLM here. We can pick which LLM it uses to get the best bits out of all of them and do all the guesswork for us. Or we can manually do it with Guided, apparently. So if I click Guided, I kind of want to do Guided. So let's see. I think it'll still probably use an LLM to generate the checklist. Yeah. So we click GPT-4 and now Instead of it making the decisions, all it does is analyze all of them and get a checklist of every single feature that was mentioned. Battle Scar says try compare first. I can try compare later. Sorry, I picked guided because that seemed the most interesting to me. Just having a list of like every single option. Like imagine if this was for brainstorming or something, it'd be so, so effective. I don't know how they came up with this workflow, but it seems so cool. Some real innovation here by the big AGI. So CSS animation for twinkling stars, that seems pretty good. Dynamic star generation with JavaScript. Um, no, I think we want it to be just CSS. Moon moving animation, absolute positioning, create moon with CSS. Server side templating. No, we don't want that either. I wonder whose idea that was. CSS keyframing for star opacity, HTML structure for night scene. Yes, styling the background. Okay, so we'll just disclude JavaScript and server side and confirm selection. Now it's still using GPT-4 to merge the code. Yo, we got Enrico Ross in the chat. The, oh yeah, I noticed they didn't render the HTML. So Enrico's saying if we click the red HTML button. Oh, awesome, we get the view. Dude, these look so good. Cloud 3 Opus, wow. Mistral 7B wasn't bad either. And okay, so GPT-4 was the one that tried to go overkill with the JavaScript. 
I mean, that could be good if that's what you wanted, but I kind of just wanted something simple or... Yeah, the JavaScript doesn't work in this code pen thing, I assume, Enrico, is that right? That's why that one, the stars, didn't work. And Claude 3, oh, it actually is really dark. It didn't do... It didn't finish the code. Um, okay, so now we have the final HTML, which is blank because they have the CSS separately. Whereas I think in these ones, they had them all within the same HTML file. That's why it rendered correctly. But it seems to have, I guess, forgotten that we wanted it in one file by the end here. Is there a way we can retry? Let's have a retry. Adelsgard says, best order is compare. Guide it if you want, then fusion. Should we try compare first? Analyzes and compares the responses, offering a structured framework to help you support. Okay, so compare it is the best one to do first, apparently, because it gives a breakdown. Thanks for the tip, Battle Scarred Shogun. So compare is just a one click, they give you a list. So it's kind of similar to guided, but I guess it goes into more detail. Oh no, it's adding its own criteria and to check it against. Okay, so it is a bit more detailed, gives itself some criteria. Um, generates responses, rates the criteria. All right, let's try do the one-click fuse. Oh, it keeps the other node. That's pretty cool. Okay, so Opus actually combines the HTML and CSS in one file. That's sweet. Okay, here we go. Let's see the combined. So this is pretty much exactly the same. Oh, no, the moon's on the right and it's white. Interesting. So it did change it to kind of combine it with the rest. That's pretty interesting. Is that custom? What's custom? Custom fusion prompt. Oh, sweet. Based on the N alternatives provided. Oh, sweet. This is exactly kind of what I wanted. Like if you want to specifically say how it should be, it could be like based on the N alternatives provided. Like you could manually type which features to keep and you could type an extra feature. So it could be like also make the moon red. Because with this way, you like couldn't do that with guided or fused. If you specifically want something, so like a red moon, without having to change the original prompt. Oh, sweet! And we did it. It combined all of them, but made the moon red, just like I asked. Yeah, this would be pretty good for like essay writing, right? You could like pick the points that you want to keep in your final essay. You could structure a beam for like awesome essay writing. New beam update. A way to get better results from LLMs. Awesome UI. It's like literally like the best branching, merging UI I've seen. Best open source web UI ever. <laughs> you call this? It's like LLM web UI. The four things I have Fusion guided, compare, and custom. For merge strategies, I'll see y'all next stream.